Just be like, yes, I'm still here. I'm doing fine. Everything's fine. Hey everyone, I'm Monica and welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to do a super quick tutorial, super easy, super simple, barely any makeup look to look refreshed if you're working from home and doing a lot of video conferencing. As I'm sure a lot of you are as well, I am stuck at home right now, but I am thankfully still working. I work at a digital media company and usually I'm in an office, but of course right now we're all working from home. We're doing a lot of video conferencing. Zoom, Skype, Google Hangouts, all that good stuff. I feel like it's very easy to just kind of roll out of bed and start working because that's what I've been doing, but I think it's good for morale and just good for my own personal emotional well-being if I feel like I look a little bit put together. So here's my super easy tutorial on how to look less deceased if you have to video conference for work. And before I really get into it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm stuck at home, I'm trying to make fun stuff, I'm trying to keep it fun, it's fun, everything's fine. I'll also give some tips on how to like position your camera and stuff so you look professional. This look literally uses two brushes. Since I'm not going anywhere, not going out, not gonna really sweat because what is physical activity anymore anyway? I'm not using a primer is my point. This look is primerless and it starts with a foundation. Just use a regular kind of satin finish foundation. I like this one from Urban Decay, it's a Stay Naked foundation because it literally looks like my skin. And I think for video conferencing, you just wanna look as realistic as possible. So whatever foundation you have that's the closest to just looking like skin is what I recommend. The important thing for me with this look is I don't wanna look too done up, I just wanna look refreshed and awake. I don't need my coworkers to like see me in a full face when they well know I am in my pajamas. But like, look at this just melt into my skin. It's gone. I love watching this blend in, it's always so satisfying. Now honestly, you could stop here if you want. You've evened out your skin tone, you look great, you look awake, you got a full eight hours. You didn't stay up till 3 a.m. watching Tiger King again. Now I wanna give myself just a little bit of brightness under my under eyes, again, to look awake and refreshed. So I'm gonna use my Shape Tape Concealer. I'm not trying to highlight, I'm just trying to brighten my under eyes a little bit, so I'm not gonna use a lot. Do, 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 do. Keep it minimal and just blend it out. Boom, blended. Voila. Okay, so this next step is optional. LOL, this is all optional. You're working from home. I like to reduce a little bit of this shine with just a little bit of powder. I'm gonna use this Urban Decay Powder Foundation. I love it. I never thought I'd say that about powder foundation, but I love it. I just dab in here. But like, if you can't even be bothered for this step, don't do it. 20% less shiny, love it. Next up, my favorite step, and the step that I really think makes you look more awake is blush. I love blush, I think it just makes you look healthy and alert and like, I'm fine. I would suggest a lighter shade like this one, and I'm using a BH Cosmetics palette for this. Mm. You don't wanna go overboard, we're not going for clown, we're going for refresh. Wow, I love my working from home situation. Yay, but I'm gonna put on a little mascara. This is really, this part's kinda just for fun. Cause I like long lashes. Wow, look at those lashes. She cares about herself. She does, says me. And last but certainly not least, I'm gonna do a little gloss, just a little bit. Fenty Gloss Bomb, of course. Like, you might still have to give that presentation just because it's over Zoom, you know? You still gotta do it. Your boss is still watching. You don't wanna be chapped. Yeah. That's it. I'm gonna do a little extra step because I feel like it. Ta! -da! Yes, I brought my hair down. Wow, I know, excessive. But I do like to, you know, bring my hair out for these conference calls. See my coworkers be like yes i'm still here i'm doing fine everything's fine as you can tell i'm a little stir crazy from all this being inside but i am so grateful to be working and that's pretty much the tutorial that's the look i feel like i look a little refreshed i'm ready to have a meeting with people over the computer i'm ready to talk about some spreadsheets that i made 
I'm ready. I like to do this because I feel better. I feel a little bit more like I'm really at work. This is about as much makeup as I would wear to real work. That's pretty much the look, but I'm gonna give a few tips on how to make your video conferencing look a little bit smoother and you know, to make you look your best. Tip one. The camera should be slightly above you, pointing down. You don't want the camera below you, pointing up. That's how you get this double chin look, which is great. The camera is slightly above me. So keep the camera a little raised, pointed down at you. So here's how a lot of people open their computers and are filming, but you just want to tilt it down just a little bit. So it's tilting down at me now. It's a flattering angle for everyone, so try it. Also, position your computer with some natural light behind it. So as you can see, I am sitting directly in front of a window with the light pointing at me. That will brighten you up, make you look nice and bright for your video conference. You don't want it behind you because it'll cast a weird shadow and put you in silhouette. And everybody in that meeting will be like, oh my God, she looks so good. Well, quarantine is really doing wonders for her. And you'll be like, thanks, I know. I have my life put together. In my tiny box room, I need to go outside. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you're safe and you're doing well out there, even in this weird time. I hope you're still working and that these tips help you have the best video conference ever. Ah!